All right. Okay. Let's give it a moment for the others to begin first before we start. Okay, let me check my video. Okay, just testing. Can you guys see me? Testing out the... Let me type out in chat. Can you guys hear me and see me? All right, nice, nice. Thanks, Ariane. Thanks, Richard. Hey, Richard. Hey, you're following me everywhere, man. Hey, Etienne. Yeah, hi there, Shem. Hi there, Amin. Okay, so, okay, today will be the Ultimate Forex Trading Masterclass Trading Strategy Clinic. So, yeah, actually, just now I took a trade on USD JPY. I'll share with you guys in a bit. Okay. Let me begin. So, yeah, welcome to another Ultimate Forex Trading Masterclass brought to you by Tickmill. Hey, hi there, Sumit. Hey, hi there. Okay, I got. Okay, Sumit, Richard, hi there. I'm good, I'm good. So, yeah, I'm good so far. I'm quite happy with my USD JPY trade earlier on. Okay, so just a disclaimer. Okay, the information provided. Uh, provided is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as investments advice. The views, information, or opinions expressed in the text belong solely to the author, which is myself and not the author's employer, organization, committee, or other group or individual or company. Okay. Also, do take note, take note that this webinar is audio recorded and may be uploaded to YouTube and other social media platforms. Okay, let us begin. Okay, let me move on. Okay, this is the Trading Strategy Clinic. So you can see my name is right there. My name is Chen Yongqing. Let me get the name, Chen Yongqing. And we are the finalists for the best Forex research for 2019, 2020, and 2021. So we are also the finalists for the best equity research for 2020 and 2021. So right now we have a special collaboration with Tickmill where we are bringing you guys the good stuff. Okay, let me get the charts out. So yeah, by the way, there's something called the Tickmill Traders Club. So feel free to check out this link. I'll just send it to you guys. So it's an all-in-one trading hub at your fingertips. So you can talk to the chief trader. You can talk to us. You can talk to me. You can talk to Gene Insight. So we actually provide technical analysis. It's an interactive community. So, yeah, so there are actually latest news, insights, latest market developments. It looks a bit like Discord, so it's actually very, very clean, the UI. Market insights, entry, potential entry, exit points, with pivot levels, support, resistance levels, marked out neatly. We also have trading discussion, video tutorials, and notifications too. Okay, so this is how it looks like. I'll show you guys more on how to use it. So Etiane, so yeah, you have joined. Looks interesting. Feel free to say hello in the chit chat room. We can talk there. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us there. So Chief Trader Desmond Leong is inside. So you can sign up using the same email. Okay, that's a... So you open, fund your Tickmill wallet, live trading accounts, and then you can get into the Traders Club. Okay, Ola Ware, I greet you all. Yes, I greet you too. Okay, so there's this Traders Club. So it looks like this when you log in. So there's actually, let me check. So we have the chit chat session section. You guys can talk with us there. So there's also Gold News Report, Oil News Report. So we have Jin Dao. So Jin Dao is every single day is taking his effort, taking time and effort to write everything down for you guys to digest. So you'll send it, all the new section is done by him. So we also will talk about the, okay, let me log in. I think I got locked out. We'll be back. Okay. So this is how it looks like. So example, if I type an analysis out, I can say that price might go towards the, look at the discussion. Head towards the overlap support. So you notice when I highlight this out, 
overwrap support. I wrote it this morning at 9 a.m. So price indeed did went towards the overwrap support. Has just tapped right into it very nicely. So then it might rebound from that area towards the overwrap resistance. So there's a resistance area where we might potentially see price continue heading towards. Or I didn't add uh, another analysis out, but if this area is broken, I should write it out as an example. Okay, let me show you guys. Okay. So I'll just write out, take a look. If this overlap support gets broken. So if you are using trading view, if I draw a line like that, overlap support, you do not know what am I talking about. So I draw it right there. Do you know which overlap am I talking about? You will just be reading my idea. You do not know where is it. But right here, if this overlap support, I can highlight it. Overlap support. Click on link object to text. And then I can draw out my overlap support. So horizontal way. Confirm. So right now, if I highlight the overlap support, this area gets highlighted. Overlap support gets broken. We might see price continue bearish towards the overlap. The next overlap support here. So where is here? The next overlap support. Highlight it. Link object to text and I'll draw the next overlap support. So likely we can be right here. Confirm. In, I should write in an alternative scenario, an alternative scenario. If, okay, let me send it in. So I can, I'll blast it all to the other, I'll blast it to the TXY channel. So overlap support, you notice it gets highlighted, gets broken, can see price heading bearish towards the next overlap support. So it's very, very clean. Can DXY be traded on DXY? You always thought it's just an index for information, but not tradable. Well, it's tradable. If you actually open your... Wait, let me... Wow. Euro dollar just hit my take profit, but my trade didn't get got triggered. So I'm just looking at it. Okay. Asking if it's not tradable. Okay, I should, wait, hey, give me a moment. I need to... I apologize. I got to delete my sell limit order on Euro. So I was trying to sell Euro dollar. Let me just delete it real quick. Okay, delete. Okay, back. So open up your open up your meta trader for you should be able to see it under the quotes. You search for something called DXY or dollar index. You are able to trade it, but I personally do not trade that. So yeah, you guys can talk to us in the chit chat room, ask for analysis. Talk to us so I can even create an analysis. For example, if I think this is bullish, I can put, let me clear everything out. I can state that it might be bullish. Maybe I turn on the Ichimoku cloud. Okay. Style. Okay, since price is above the Ichimoku card, I might potentially say price is bullish. It's at current price. Why is it at current price? Pivot. Okay, maybe I'm below. Pivot. I'm going to bounce from the overlap support towards the take profit area, which is the resistance. So I'll just put the resistance right up there. You do not have to take profit all the way up there. So I'll just put it out as the Okay, let me give you a moment. Okay, nicely put first resistance area. We also have a support area right there. Intermediate resistance, maybe right there because of these two areas. These two areas right there. Okay, let me just clear things out. So I can just write an example. 
So I can write dxy potential for bullish rise towards resistance towards okay maybe previous swing high or overlap resistance. Then maybe preference I'll write I'll write uh my bias for maybe dxy on the H4 is bullish to add confluence to this bias price is currently above the Ichi Moku cloud. Also, okay, maybe I'll just add as that, adding confluence. So I'll put I'm looking for price to possibly rise from the pivot, which is the overlap support before heading towards the overlap resistance area. So also right, it's worthy to note that there is an intermediate resistance level that price might struggle to break through. So I'll send an analysis, something like that, but, but for this demo, I'm actually using Desmond's account. So if you guys are inside, feel free to chat, feel free to reply to this analysis. Possibly rise from the pivot. So I'll double click the word pivot. Link object to text so you guys know what I'm talking about, which is the overlap support before heading to the resistance. So it's right up there. Confirm intermediate resistance level that price might struggle to break through. So everything is very very neatly labeled price might rise so even the rise or uh, maybe i'll just highlight this arrow to make it neat post to multiple channels dxy post so you guys can actually see the analysis when you click view analysis can see what i'm talking about rise so it actually highlighted the arrow rise from the pivot to the overlap resistance area intermediate resistance so yeah, it's a very, very cool feature. So feel free to check out Take News Traders Club. I'll send it one more time. Activity, okay. That's about it. Let's move on. Okay, let me open a new tab. Let me get things out. Let me do a quick recap on last week. What happened? before we start our trading analysis. So I actually saw somebody already ask for CAT CHF at Tiane. Give me a moment, I will go through that. Do not worry. Okay, so last week, let me check, last week, we actually had quite a few major news for the dollar index. We had the CPI, Retail Sales, Empire State Manufacturing Index, and the product, uh, Producer Price Index. Uh, Russell, please screenshot it down. I don't think I'm able to email you. If, and also, please do not send your personal email out to this chat. Because everybody in this chat right now can see your personal email. Let me, I will delete your comment, you know, because you have your personal information there. Okay, so let me continue. So last week, so the US inflation rose by 0.5% last month driven by higher food, energy, and shelter prices. So it actually resulted in a year-on-year -year increase of 6.4% for the CPI. So in February, the Empire State Manufacturing Index improved to negative 5.8%. So it was attributed to better delivery times, higher inventories, and increased prices were noted. So you can actually see the dollar index continued pretty bullish from the entirety of last week. So last week on the 13th, so notice price went down first initially, but continued its bullish leg up. 
So, next, the US retail sales, it rose by 3%. So, it actually beat market expecta expectations. Better than expected. So, sales for November 2022 to January this year were up 6.1% from the same period a year ago. So, overall, it's just very, very bullish for the dollar index last week. So right now, we want to know what is going on, what, what might possibly go on. So this is my personal chart layout. So I'm actually trying to look at a few currencies today. So currently, I'm looking at the dollar index on my top left-hand corner. So also at my euro dollar, GBP USD and USD CHF. So next, I also had my USD JPY, USD CAD, Aussie dollar, and NZD USD. So I look for the best possible trading setup, and then I enter the trade. So earlier this morning, earlier this morning, I, I was doing an analysis during the Asian session. So I was saying that price might possibly drop from this overlap. Let me open another chart. Let me get it out. Okay. Give me a moment. Okay. Where's my webinar? So this morning, I actually did an analysis during the Asian session. So I was doing analysis on the one hour chart. I was thinking that price might drop from this. Overlap support, overlap resistance. On tap, two tap, three tap. So earlier on during the Asian session was roughly right here. I was thinking to sell USD JPY, but I stuck to my trading rules. What were my trading rules? Well, I do not trade during the Asian session. I only trade during the London or the New York session. So just now I took a small little scalp right there. So I remembered someone someone actually asked me a question earlier. Let me check if the person is still here. So Richard, Richard this morning asked, why do I close out my trade so early? Let me show you why. So take a look. I was trying to sell USD JPY right here. So I took a shot. The moment price actually kind of broke structure. Okay, before I do that, a trade recap. So if I draw the Fibonacci line from the top to the bottom of this swing row right there, draw a Fib, you notice that I'm actually aiming for the 38.2% level. So notice 38.2% level got hit and then I started to look for my sell. I noticed that price actually rejected off the area, rejected off the 38.2%. And adding confluence to that, price also went underneath the Ich Ichimoku cloud right there. So it's adding further confirmation to that sell entry. What happened next? I'm always looking for price to break structure. So this is how I look at structure. So price actually went down from the lower low. So this is how I take a look at it. If I draw a line across right there, I noticed that price has already broken structure significantly. So X, okay, middle, okay, bottom center. Price broke structure right there. Then I move on towards the one minute charts. So I was trying to enter a trade. So I actually entered right there. Took a shot. The moment price retraced slightly. Stop loss at this recent high right there. So I was risking 7.8 pips and then I was actually aiming for price to continue moving bearish. I was aiming for this low right there to be cleared. But what happened? Price started to rebound and rebound non-stop. And where did I decide to close my trade? If you draw one line across, you notice that there were relative equal lows right there. So I closed out my trade right there. The moment price went back down, came up and then came back down right here, I closed out my trade. See, if I did not close out my trade, price instantly bounced and would have already 
wiped me out the market. So even though I'm scalping, I'm still, even though I'm scalping, taking an intraday position, I'm constantly monitoring my trade. Okay, next. Let's move on. Okay, maybe you start with the dollar index, the DXY chart. Okay, I'll change the team. So I actually like a white body. Body, black, it's bearish, black, black. Okay, this is how I like my chart to be, black and white. So looking at the one hour chart, I'll start with DXY first. Price is currently more or less under the Ichimoku cloud, but this is a cloud that is might be hard to break. This area might be hard to break. Also price already retraced back up, hitting the overlap resistance area right there. So I'll mark it out first. Always look at the dollar index first before you start trading. So if the dollar index decides to go down all your other currencies, you can start to buy. If the dollar index goes up all your other currencies, you can start to sell. So this is your overlap resistance. Price reacted off strongly, tapped, and continued moving bearish. Hey, no problem, Richard. No problem at all. Catch up with you tomorrow. Hey, thank you for joining. I really, really appreciate it. Hey, good luck to your trading. Take care, man. Hey, bye, man. Bye-bye. Overlap resistance. So, if I'm looking, I might, I might, okay, okay price also, tap into D. There's a H4 overall overlap support area overlap support so maybe if i move on to the h4 i can start to make it nicer okay h4 overlap support we might still see price continue bearish tonight heading down Okay, as of the moment, price is retracing. So we want to know where price might potentially retrace towards. So drawing a fib from this swing high towards the low right there. Notice that price might potentially tap into the 61.8% golden Fibonacci ratio. 61.8% potentially tap in and continue bearish back down. Okay, next. Let me increase this size. So with that being said, let me move towards maybe taking a look at the okay, USD JPY if dollar goes down. So I'll be selling the dollar. Okay, let's take a look at USD JPY. After USD JPY, I'll take a look at Cat CHF just now Irani just ask for it. Okay, maybe I start with the daily chart. Okay, so we actually have a pretty nice market imbalance area right there. Pretty nice imbalanced area. So green. So this is the market imbalance. Market imbalance. Inside center. Market imbalance is noted by this gap right there. So that's how I spot my market's imbalance. Okay, so Maroon Karam asks, how am I putting charts next to each other in trading view? Well, I'm, I'm actually using a template. So look on your top right-hand corner. So I can put eight charts at once in my trading view. So I'm actually using a premium account. So only a premium account, you can get up to eight charts. So there are multiple plans. So you can explore the trading view plans. Feel free to check it out. So I'm using a premium plan. It's actually $50 per month or $599 per year. So that's my current plan. Eight charts in one single layout. 
Okay, back to USD, JPY, this is the daily markets imbalance. Okay, next, if I actually move on towards... Okay, go. Nice. Okay, I'll do in a bit. Daily market imbalance, USD, JPY. Likely, we can see price continue moving bearish. So, one hour charts, price seems to be moving up. Let's say if I'm looking for a better sell entry, I would like to see price break at least this recent support right there. So, maybe head lower, retrace back up. And I will short it all the way down. Okay, I'll just copy link to the chart image. I'll send it to the chat. Okay, first I'll go through Irani's one first. Irani asked for cat chf. All right, cat chf. Got it. Okay, so looking at the uh, monthly chart. Maybe I start with the monthly chart. Okay, price seems to be retracing of some sort, but overall it's very, very bearish. Weekly, more or less super, super bearish. Potentially look for price to continue heading down. Potentially to clear this low right there. So that could be an area that I'm looking at. If I move on to four hours, price can potentially hit back up to retest the overlap resistance. So we have quite a nice one right there with the best fits line. Overlap resistance. So if I draw a Fibonacci line just to add confluence to our, to our idea, you notice that there's a 50% fit resting very, very nicely within the overlap support. Hey, hi there. I'm not Desmond. So sorry. I'm, I'm Yongxing. Um, I'm Chen Yongxing. Using Desmond's account. Okay, go. I'll do go after this. So looking for the overlap resistance for price to hit back up, retest before going bearish. That could be an idea. But if I actually draw a best fit line, a better support, classic support and resistance, you notice that this is a much better support. One tap, two tap, three taps, four taps, very nicely. Go up and come back down towards the overlap support. Okay, this 20... Hit up, tap, and potentially head back down. Okay, I'll just send the image, copy link to a chart image. I'll send it to you guys. Cat, CHF, H4, analysis. Okay, I'll take a look at go now. XAUUSD. Okay. Uh, Dick B, Dick B rider actually asked for what something about my DXY correction. Can we look at cable? What do you mean by cable? What's that? Can you please retype? Okay, after go, I'll take a look at GBP USD. All right, nice price tapped very very nicely into my analysis earlier this morning. I had an analysis price tapped into my order block. And it just reversed back down. Okay, moving on to the one hour. Okay, GBP USD. Okay, okay, got it, got it. I think it's a term that I've never used before. Okay, no problem, Alvin. So, GBP USD next. Okay, let me clear out everything first. So looking at the daily chart, price is more or less very, very bearish towards the downside. So if you notice, price has tapped, just tapped into the overlap support. That's why price bounced. Overlap support. So it's on the daily chart. 
Okay, next. If I actually draw a, fib, a Fibonacci line from the bottom of the swing row towards the recent high. Okay, overlap support. Atiani, you asked what's that? Overlap support is when we have a support level nice over here, nice over one, two, three, price goes up. So this area actually caused price to be an overlap support. So price goes up, head back down into the overlap support area. So it's just a better term to use for instead of saying support, 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 everywhere there's support, well, it's an overlap support. So Priyanshu Dubi, I'm actually going through Go right now. It's Go. XAU USD is Go. Overlap support. So if I go towards the day, okay, daily, where price can possibly retrace nothing for hours, we might potentially see price. Okay, price actually just tapped into this very nice market imbalance area. So this D, H4. Market imbalance. Yes, yes. It's when price visits, revisits a support area, right? You can call it that too. H for market imbalance, price went down. So this is the imbalance right there. Price went down. Tapped in very nicely before it immediately rejected towards the downside. Okay, then next, if you actually move towards the... Okay, if I'm looking for shorts, likely I want to see price. Clear out this low right there. Potentially cause a structure, market structure break. So this is what I want to see happen. Price to hit down, retrace, hit down one more time before you look for shorts towards the downside. Or maybe towards your near term, since today it's the US bank holiday. So we have a, quite a nice demand zone right there. So box blue. So this D. H4 demand zone. Okay, that's where price might potentially head towards. So I'll just screenshot this down, send it to chats. XAUSD H4 charts. So if you are looking for buys, I will not force an analysis. I will not force a buy entry. So at the moment, it's very, very bearish. I personally would, would not recommend trading against the bearish trend. So if we are looking for a reversal, a better buy would be if price breaks that high right there. So if price breaks this high right there on the H4, we might potentially see price just continue bullish from then on. It might be a reversal. Then the next near-term target I'll be looking at is this. More or less quite a nice... Okay, finding a best fit line. Okay, wouldn't force it. Okay, more or less, there's a resistance area. That's the resistance. That could be an area that you are looking at to take profit if you are looking to buy. So I'll copy again. Okay, how do I identify the demand zone? Well, I'm actually using something called smart money concepts. So if you're looking at a candle, you're looking at a candle that is the last bullish candle that caused price to push upwards, that's a demand area. So this could be a supply zone, the last candle, the last bearish candle. So this could be a potential bearish candle potential supply zone, I mean. Supply zone. This could be one. If you are looking for buys, your original take profit target should be right up there. So maybe your stop loss below. 
and then you aim for that area that could be your take profit targets. So by actually, okay, let me move on. Okay, Henrich actually asked, can you explain what a swap liquidity what a swap liquidity is about? You do not understand well. Sweeping of liquidity. Let me find an example. Okay, looking at this candle right here, if we have relative equal high right there, if you draw a straight line through, you notice that once price heads back up, clears out the relative equal high, it immediately rejects back down. This reversal is known as a sweeping of liquidity. Yes, the last bullish or bearish candle before price pivots. Yes. Sweeping of liquidity. So right below here, we also have relative equal low. So if I draw a straight line across, you notice that price also went down to clear the Relative equal goals that are resting right there. That's another sweep of liquidity. So you can see as market manipulation, whatever you want to call it, but for me, I'll call it sweep of liquidity. So this is swept liquidity example using relative equal highs slash rows. Okay, next. Let's take a look at any more questions. Okay, any more currency pairs? Oh yeah, GBP USD. So let me take a look at that. Where is GBP USD? Let me find it. Okay, got it. Let me take a look at the daily chart first. The price more or less seems to be pretty much bearish, but at the moment, I'm actually eyeing a short. So if I'm actually looking for shorts, continue for shorts, I'm looking at this very nice imbalanced area here on the daily chart. Hey, hi, I've already ran through, I think I ran through Euro dollar already, Tarbang. So this is the market imbalance inside center 20 markets imbalance area if i'm looking for short i'll set an alert trading view alert at alert for gu at 1.20739 so set an alert there i'll be waiting for price to react to that area before i potentially look for shorts towards the downside okay Next, let's take a look at the for our charts. So I will not be buying, I'll not be buying GU just because the overall trend is downtrend. So I'll just wait until price steps that area before I start to look for shots. That would be my only analysis for GBP USD. daily market imbalance. So maybe if I draw a Fibonacci line from the top of this swing high towards the previous swing low, you notice that price, there is a 50% Fibonacci line. So, okay, you can see it clearly. There's a 50% fib within the daily market imbalance, potentially see price head up towards that discounted area before price can continue moving bearish. So I'll just screenshot it down. Maybe on a one hour chart that it's clearer. Okay, copy link to a chart image that is GBP USD. Okay, Euro dollar. Well, I actually wrote, that, wrote an analysis on Euro dollar over the weekend. So if you guys are following me on TradingView, I actually posted 
about euro dollar already on sunday take a look at my idea Actually, you wrote an idea for euro dollar actually said that price might take a look tap into that 1.07090 area before continue bearish towards the downside so that's my idea that i've written so let me take a look at eu wow oh my eu has con okay let me check whether it has tapped into my 50 percent zone almost there but not right almost there but not really okay 15 minutes charts so yeah if i'm looking for a shot i'll be looking for it right there take a short position euro dollar stop loss above for price to continue heading towards the downside but this must be paired with the dollar index so if the dollar index is continue is continues to go up i'll be looking to short the euro so personally i might be looking for sell entry for this so 1.06888 that's an area that i could be looking at extended box green okay maybe i should write that this on the 15 minute charts markets imbalance are right short form potential potential short right there head up for price to continue towards the downside so it's roughly a 15 pip trade so we also have relative equal lows right there for price to clear it out okay let me just draw a circle draw a line call out relative equal rows that could be a potential take profit target okay next let me take a look maybe i should move on towards the five minutes so for me how i'll trade i'll wait for price to tap into that area the market imbalance area before i look for something like this so i'll not be entering a short position immediately right there potentially look for price to go up tap in cause a market structure shift before heading back down okay so yeah i'll set an alert right there so i'll set a plus maybe add alert for euro dollar 1.06888 so let me delete all my other alerts first. Okay, any more questions so far on Euro dollar for Tabang Mitive? Let me take a look at five minutes. Because price went up, it also cleared liquidity. So you notice that price went up, cleared retested that overlap resistance before heading back down so right now you can see price head back up roughly likely to retest before continue bearish okay Atiane, you actually ask let me, let me send alert for eu so let's say the alert hits i will go right back into this okay i'll copy link to a chart image send it to chat a no problem tabang Euro USD M5 charts. Okay, next. Oh, yeah, by the way, if you guys follow me, feel free to follow me. This is my trading view account. Feel free to check it out. Follow me. You know, give me a boost. Maybe, maybe we can hit 700 followers in the future. Okay, I just sent it in. That's my trading view link. Hey, thank you, thank you. Hey, so sorry. I just saw the other questions that you guys asked in the chats. So Priyanshu Dubi, you asked for USD CAD also. 
So I'll go through, I'll go through three more currencies. I'll just go through Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar, and USD CAD. So Priyanshi asked, in market, you have some, you have same secret to make money. Well, there's no secret. I've been showing you guys how I actually trade. Will you sweep the liquidity or imbalance before going down? Well, both ways. I'm hoping for it to clear imbalance at the same time clearing out liquidity for price to continue bearish. Hey guys, thanks for following me. So by the way, if you want to find out more, wait, let me get a new incognito tab. Link three. Wait, let me get this out. Let me find my link. Okay, so if you guys want to contact me after the webinar, feel free to follow me on all these socials. Feel free to visit that link. Click on it. Check everything out about me. Follow me everywhere, social media, whatever. Really, thank you guys for the support. Next, USD CAT. Priyanshu DUB. Okay, price just tapped into the market's imbalance. We can see some sort of reaction in the market. Okay, would prefer for price to head up higher first. Hey, thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you, Maroon. So USD CAD. So looking at the daily charts, I'll start with the daily. So price seems to be going up pretty bullish actually there's no there's no clear direction at the moment if i want to draw some kind of trend line price is just within the trend line if i draw in this way price is still within the other trend line going towards the h4 so we can potentially see price actually retest this overlap very, very nice overlap support area. Okay, overlap support. Overlap support. That's an area that you can look at. Overlap support. Tries to retest. Potentially, you can start to look for longs towards the upside. Why are you looking for longs? Because for the past few days maybe the past few days it has been pretty pretty bullish so i expect the bullish momentum to possibly continue towards the upside that's the h4 chart and where can your potential take profit targets be let me find maybe your first take profit target could be this near term high right there the first resistance maybe on the one hour can have a overlap resistance area overlap overlap price almost tapped into that area but it actually caused an inducement so maybe if you go for long scan potentially take profit right there so i'll just screenshot it down send it to chat this is for usd cat Okay, next, taking a look at the last two currency pairs, which is the Aussie dollar and the New Zealand dollar. Okay, Aussie dollar. Okay, let me take a look at the daily charts. Okay, price seems to be doing some kind of retracement towards the downside. So I do not see anything yet on the daily chart. I'll just move on towards the H4 chart. So if I draw a very nice Fibonacci line from the top to the bottom. So I notice that price just tapped into the 38.2% area. So at the moment, I don't see any possible analysis yet. So maybe if I move on to the H1. So overall, since it's bearish, is still going bearish. If you are looking for shorts, a potential short area, you can take a look. It's right here. If price breaks that low right there, very, very strong break, retrace back up, can 
start looking to short towards the downside. If you are looking for buys, a better area to buy would be right above there. So you're looking for price to head up, retrace, break, retrace, and continue moving towards the overlap resistance area right there. Okay, maybe a best fit line would be better. So maybe until right there, resistance, overlap, resistance area. I'll clear this out. Okay, I'll just copy link to the chart image. I'll send it to you guys. This for Aussie dollar on the H1 chart. Okay, my last currency pair I will go through is the New Zealand US dollar. NZD USD. I'll start off with the daily chart. Price is very, very bearish. Wow, this is very, very nice. We actually have a relative equal row forming. So if I'm looking for sales, I'll be selling. New Zealand dollar towards the downside, relative equal low. So that's a nice, a pretty good 40 pips sell. That's an area that I'll be looking out for. Four hour chart, one hour chart. Okay, price has already retraced and rejected. Yes, rejected some sort of area. So it actually had rejected the overlap resistance. So this is the support right there. Let me rename it. Overlap. Overlap resistance. Price rejected of that area has already caused a market structure shift, a break of structure. Break of structure right there, we might potentially see price re a retrace back up into this nice little market imbalance. Market imbalance, that's a nice area. Potentially head up there, retest, and head back down. Okay, I'll just copy link to the chart image. I'll send it to you guys. This is the NZD USD on the M30 chart. Okay. Okay, since we have extra time, this will be the confirmed last one already. Bitcoin, BTC, USD. Okay, price is going very bullish. So I actually had an analysis on Bitcoin. So this was my take. This was my original buy, was my original trade idea. So since price has tapped into the overlap supports and reversed strongly towards the upside, you can look for potential buy entry at the previous swing high. Previous swing high right there, price will head up, retrace, break again, and then that will be your buy entry towards the upside. So take profit. Where is this take profit level at? Overlap resistance. Well, if you go on towards the daily charts, there's a nice overlap resistance. Very, very nice. You can see price head up towards that area. So I'll copy link to a chart image. I'll send it to you guys. BTC USD. That's my analysis for a buy on Bitcoin. So yeah, that will be about it. I will not be going through any more currency pairs. So if you guys have any more questions, feel free to let me know. So by the way, today we actually have a... Today it's the bank holiday. So we do not have much news going on. Bank holiday for United States, bank holiday for Canadian. Nothing much except for maybe a minor, minor news event on the consumer confidence at 11 p.m. So yeah, if there are no further questions, so yeah, before you guys leave, remember to follow me on TradingView. Doge Stongs. Follow me, follow me, bro. Follow me, guys. Hey, no problem, Summit. No problem, Maroon. Follow me, get it up, get it up higher and higher. Hey, no problem, submit.
get it up to maybe 640 followers. Hey, no problem, Jen, Jen, uh, Jen Tendra. So yeah, I'll thank everyone before you guys leave. Thank you, Elvin. Thank you, Andreas, Ankit, Ariane, Benjamin, CL So, Dick B Rider, Eddie, Edwin, Sajorada, Ed, Erwin, Etiane, FH Chill, Gemma, Irving, Joel, John, Johnny, Lisa, Maroon, Maureen, Michael, Michael Trakis, Muhammad Fahan, Myro, Navin, Nuku Oware, Paul Priyanshu, Robert, Rodney, Roland, Russell, Samuel, Julian, Samuel, Ajibe, Shem, Chris, Toba, SK Wu, Sumit, Tulani, thank you, Virgilio, and Wilfredo. Hey, no problem at all. Really appreciate you guys giving me the support and staying till the end of the session. I always make it a point to read you guys' name because it really means a lot for me to stay until the end of the session. Okay, Elvin had a one last question. By the way, the one you attached in the chat can be seen or read in Tick Mill. Yes, can be read. All of you guys can see this in Tick Mill. So go under DXY. You guys can see the analysis that I typed out earlier on. So yeah, goodbye guys. Take care and stay safe trading. Today, not much movement in the markets. Goodbye. So I'll end this right now.